what is going on my peoples my peoples peoples and my boom 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 plant peoples what's the business how are y'all doing okay 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 i'm doing just fine tell you the truth i've been uh doing a couple plant chores and stuff like that and i just figure you know what let me talk to my people while i do a little repot it won't be a long repot but it's gonna be a repot nonetheless so um go ahead and get you something to repot with me if you want to or you can just throw me on the tube and um you can just listen to me if you want to but i've been thinking of anthuriums right so i've been trying to figure out um you know how my anthuriums have been doing since uh this winter or whatnot and i've got a lot of pretty good anthuriums around here that has been doing good especially in my uh my anthurium ikea greenhouse you know what i'm gonna do might as well go ahead and show you some of them so let me go pull a couple of them out and i can talk to you about the care that i'm doing with my anthuriums and then on the back end we're gonna get a little repot in for a, uh, two plants um, two anthuriums that have just been um, very thirsty. So let me grab some anthuriums and we can talk anthurium. This could be anthurium talk, okay? So give me just a second. Okay, so I just grabbed a couple different um, anthuriums and was just like, let's just talk about them, right? So um, I'm still learning anthuriums and the way that they grow and everything like that because I've only had like the anthuriums for maybe about a year or more so i can't say i'm an expert on it but i would love to have just a conversation you know down in the description and maybe you guys can teach me some things that maybe you know about certain different anthuriums and stuff like that and i can just tell you how i have my anthuriums and like watering and stuff like that and we'll just have a cool little discussion so I got different anthuriums from different places, okay? So I got some that sit in this room right here, which the temperature can just kind of fluctuate um, slowly, typically, but um, it's pretty good in here, like right now. Like I don't have any air on it, anything like that, or anything blowing in here as far as like a heater or a AC unit of some sort, like a fan or something. And then I have anthuriums that are in the Ikea greenhouse. Now the thing with the Ikea greenhouse, on one side of the window, the window um, or the glass, I'm guessing like when I bought it from her, cause I bought it from like Facebook market, the glass wasn't on there. So what I did was take the panel that kind of goes across and I just kind of laid it up there. So about one third of the panel is still showing. So there's like glass right there. And then uh, there's like a little space. So it does get humidity in there, but it leaks out pretty simply, pretty simple, right? Um, and for me, you know, I know, or I try to understand, or I'm getting the anthuriums like humidity. What I'm finding is when you are growing these anthuriums, if you can just put it in a room and let it grow, then it will figure it out. For some anthuriums, that's just not the case, okay? I know for me, one of the anthuriums that I have a really hard time with, if it's not in the case, is the forgetty eye. I don't know what it is about the forgetty eye that they just don't, I don't, I'm not gonna say that they don't like me cause I don't wanna wish that upon me, but they don't just grow, they don't just grow great for me. Now, when I have them in my Ikea greenhouse, then we all lovey-dovey. But if I have it in like this environment or in that case, it's a no-go, right? The only case that is good in is my Ikea, the Detolf, like that long one, where it is all enclosed and then I have a tray um, down at the bottom where I have my 
plant pots like this right here, right? So I pretty much bottom water, right? So with that, that means that there's water going up and seeping up. So for that, it's almost like there's humidity in there always, right? So I'm learning that I have to put certain anthuriums in certain places. And then for other anthuriums, it doesn't even matter, right? Like this one right here, anthurium, uh, what's this, the luxurian. I think that this is pure luxurian or as pure as possible, right? Um, this one right here, I have the Ikea greenhouse that is partially closed up. But as you see, it's growing very, very well, right? I have this one kind of like in the middle of the greenhouse, whatnot. I do have it on a tray where I do keep water in there because I find that this is a very thirsty plant and I think it's a very thirsty plant. Oh, I'm messing this one up. I think that it's a thirsty plant because it's a lot thicker. Um, as you kind of see, like this stem right here is like, like you would have to chop this. And when you chop this, it would make like a really good, you know, you cut like a, like a, a very fresh vegetable and it make that chop sound. I believe that this would happen with that one too. But it grows so beautifully as you see it. And I know I showed this in a video before, but I absolutely love the Anthurium Luxurian. I think if I had to have like a top five Anthurium, this would definitely be it. I can remember a time where I was scared to get this plant because so many people weren't doing well with it and it was way more expensive. Um, and remember I seen this plant some three years ago and this plant was, all, I mean, it was up there. You know what I mean? Um, but right now I'm seeing this plant and I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, the just look at that like that is absolutely beautiful probably one of the most beautiful anthurium leaves i've ever seen like in my collection it is absolutely gorgeous like how can you not love something that looks so great like that right um and it's so easy it's so freaking easy i also have a luxurian that is in this environment too still growing amazing just absolutely amazing. So I highly recommend the Anthurium Luxurium, the Anthurium Luxurium. And I know I've talked to some people and they um, don't have like the, I don't know what it is about the Luxurium, but they just can't do well with it. But for me, this is kind of like my safe, my, what is it called, a fail safe plant? This is my fail safe plant. And anything that just doesn't give me um, a headache is really good. So for me, I absolutely, absolutely love this. I absolutely, absolutely love this. And it's just, it's so easy. Now that is probably cause it's a lot thicker. So if I go to something a lot thinner, like this right here, this is the Anthurium um, Templomanii. Or whatnot this one is still doing good but leaves were not coming in correctly and i believe i lost at least two leaves i have this uh tim plow mini eye in here in this environment so um, i try to keep this as moist as possible as you see um, i did just water it or whatnot um, and i have it in this cup now i just put it in this cup it was just out so I'm going to assume that now when I put water in it, it will be able to um, give humidity. I will imagine that the roots will definitely grow down at the bottom um, where it's going to probably have me um, repot it pretty soon. So I'm okay with it. It's looking really good. It's looking amazing. Like I said, I've lost two leaves off of it, so don't let me fool you. Um, and you can see a little yellowing down on this one right here but it's doing amazing this is its newest leaf and it's still not finished so it may give me a leaf a little bit bigger than this one but i'm loving this plant too and it's a thinner plant as compared to this one right here so i have it in potted mix that is chunky and no soil i believe that this luxuriant is in soil so that can also be the difference too right because we're talking about you know, how we're growing these plants and stuff like that. Another 
or I guess I'll be done with this one right here because it's a thinner plant. It's looking really good. I like how it's how I feel about it and stuff like that. I like how it looks and it's in this environment here. So it definitely gives a different, unique look or whatnot. I've definitely come off of a lot of my Ethereum. So on these cases, I believe I had six and six. Now I believe I have four and four. Just to give it a little bit of space, I moved some of those into the Ikea greenhouse. I always kind of forget the name that I'm kind of giving it. So um, this uh, Ethereum Crystal Carla Dora, Dora, very thin um, plant. And I wanted to show this one because this one is a really good representation of like that silver um that silver kind of blush look or whatnot and i showed this one two weeks ago and it's still looking amazing the leaf is still uh growing big and strong or whatnot so i try not to touch it i can see it has some indentures on it but just like the top uh the tim plow mini eye this is probably what's going to happen so i've kept it in this cup for as long as i can remember and like i said the roots will grow out but if you look at those roots, very, very healthy. So I believe that along with it being in soil, um, and then it has chunky mix just on top of it, just just because it looks good. I, I like putting chunky mix on top of soil uh, for two reasons. One, it looks really good. Um, two, it helps and prevent uh, those like gnats and stuff like that, because this will dry up a lot faster than the soil will. So, um, it just creates a nice little barrier for anybody that is looking for some way to kind of drown out that soil. Get you some chunky mix or some bark or something like that and put it on top and it looks really great and it dries out a lot quicker than the soil does. So um, I've learned that. But I keep water in here or really I water this and I'll put it right back in the pot and water is still seeping from there. So as you see, there's still like just a little pool of water in there and it's really growing well that way so i'm liking it how that's growing and i just want to kind of show just different variations here i have my anthurium villanorium which kind of has that light silver but this one is a lot thicker not as thick as the anthurium luxuriant but still a good thickness this one right here um as i'm looking at it it has chunky mix and sphagnum moss on top and I do keep something on the bottom of this. So I'm learning that if you want your, oh man, I keep hitting this. If you want your anthuriums to grow really well, water is so, so important to it. I don't know any of my anthuriums. I know some of my philodendrons that will be okay, like if I didn't water for a week. But my anthuriums, as soon as that happened, those edges like really started to crust up. This one was not it. Um, I've never seen this one right here kind of crust up like that. Um, I have seen it yellow pretty quickly, but never really crust up. And when I mean crust up, I mean something like this Anthurium radicans or whatnot, which is so interesting because it's like crawling or whatnot. But on this one right here, you can see like there's some crusty stuff on there or whatnot. Um, I'm gonna talk about this one a little bit, but my Villanorium is a very easy plant, I would say. I just had to get the water incorrectly. So I try to water this one maybe once a week as compared to something like the Tim, Tim Plow Mini Eye, which I do maybe every two weeks. I mean, uh, every two two times in one week or whatnot. So um, I try to keep this one more watered. This one can dry out a little bit, but I still keep it pretty moist or whatnot. Remember this one is in chunky mix. This one look like it has some soil in it, kind of chunky mix or whatnot. Um, actually, no, no soil, it's just chunky mix, but I believe I keep like a bottom on it too, just like this right here. So I think that that's the difference, right? So um, now that I have this one, this towel, Tim Plow Mani Eye, in a place where water can stay up, I think it's gonna be a lot better for me. Maybe I won't have to water as much. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. And then my last one that I have here, uh, which I kind of already showed is my Luxurian. So this one right here was just, uh, not Luxurian, Eradicans or whatnot. And for this one right here, when I got it, it was a crawler type plant. And I thought that that was so interesting because if you actually see, um, and it's funny because that like white stuff there is just um, more than likely fertilizer or whatnot, but I don't 
um, wash this out or anything like that because I mean it's growing well. But if you can see down here, I'm gonna tilt it a little bit so that light isn't really on there. But you can see that it is crawling, and I just find that to be so interesting because I don't know any other anthuriums that crawl or whatnot. But this one is absolutely crawling. You can see those roots are uh, doing really well, like right here. Those are roots. Let me see if I can get you a little closer there. Yeah, so those are really, really gorgeous. And if you can see kind of the similarities and um, the thickness of this luxurian and these radicans, and you can see why that mix is just such a tough plant. The luxurian and radicant mix is such a tough plant. It's just a very hardy plant. Um, I find it very difficult to kill, but I mean, let me not say that because anybody can get any plant and can die. I've had pot those die before, so um, that's me being safe with the words that I'm saying. But that's just um, just a little bit of how I am taking care of my plants and maybe different conditions and watering and stuff like that. And I would love for you guys to put some things down and um, comment. Now I'm gonna grab my two anthuriums and repot them. So give me just a second to uh, get all this together. Okay, so these are the two that I'm gonna repot. And these are very, very thirsty plants and I did not know that. And I think what I have it in right now is just not sufficient enough. So here I have my VTI, Anthurium VTI, and this is my Anthurium Regal. Um, yeah, and this is what I mean by that, like browning and stuff like that. And it also could be because of the water that I'm using. Maybe it could be like too harsh or something like that, but I use it on all my plants. So some plants I'm just guessing are like really good um, off anything. And what I typically do is just um, use like my fountain water which from my understanding, Georgia water is actually pretty good because there's like a lot of minerals in it, but maybe that's the, re the situation. Um, and then I let it sit out for like 24 hours or more. Or why not so like the chlorine and stuff like, kind of like vaporize out of it. But um, that's just kind of what I'm learning. I put it in this pot here. Um, look like it's kind of stuck actually. I put it in this pot here because this right, these leaves are very, very heavy. And I think when you have like um, certain plants, like anthurium is certain and philodendron or something like that. When the leaves are very long and, or when the stems are very long and then the leaves are out there, um, it makes the plant really, really heavy. So uh, I'm gonna repot it in this right here because it is such a heavy plant. And um, I don't really got time to try to, I guess, clean it off and like put it in, um, what is it called? Or put it in, um, uh, Lekka, that's really where I want to put it. It looks like it might be uh, some little buggy buggies on here, uh, which might be the contributing factor as I'm kind of looking at it like, like some scale or something. Okay, so I got a little scale outbreak. Um, I probably should just go ahead and dead these leaves and put it in um, I think that's what I'm gonna do because there is a lot of scale on here and I don't want this to get on any other plants. I do have it secluded off to the side. So yeah, on video, I'm gonna just go ahead and do them because I already have like a Regal 2 as well that's doing very, very well. So I think the healthiest thing for me to do right now is to go ahead and just dead these leaves off because clean it off with just that's gonna be too much. So, um, and plants shouldn't come out of these two, but I think for that last one, let me see where I'm at. For the last one, oh, there's a, there's look like there's a, um, something coming out of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just take this one off too. Okay. So boom, those are gone. And there is a lot of scale on here if I'm looking at it. So that probably could have been the reason that it's uh, being like this right here. And I don't want to put this near anything else. So, um, executive decision. Sorry for anybody that was not ready for that. <laughs> that was a lot. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and we'll put this actually into my Ikea greenhouse. And I actually put it with the other anthuriums 
in that greenhouse there. It doesn't look like there's any other kind of scale on the bark part of it. So I get y'all to check up on this one right here. I wonder if this is in the same situation. I don't see anything on here. Okay, so with the repot and just one thing, and I'll put this one in my uh, anthurium greenhouse um, before I leave and go get something to eat. So what I'm gonna do is, um, and because this one likes to lean over anyways, then I'm just going to put it in here because this is a lot heavier. So um, the only thing I'm just gonna do is keep it in the same chunky mix. The mix is pretty much made of uh, perlite, horticultural charcoal, um, reptile bark, um, cocoa husk, um, yeah, that's pretty much kind of it or whatnot. And it seems to like it because it seems like it's like, if you look at it, like those roots are pretty amazing. Um, but it seems to be just too heavy. And I don't know if uh, anthuriums like to be, um, what's called root, root, um, root bound. But this leaf is dying off already, so. Go ahead and cut that. I'm just going really extreme <laughs> for people who are like, no, don't cut it. I, I think you get to a point as a planter where it's just like, uh, I, I know that I'll be able to grow it back and, you know, I check on it in the next, what, six months or something like that. Come back and get y'all updates on me deadheading plants, so. Um, what I'm going to do is just create a bottom here because I can see that like I want to put it right there so let me just go ahead and put that I think that that's going to be good because I want to keep it there yeah so I don't want to take it out of its root ball so what I'm going to do is just squeeze it squeeze it squeeze it squeeze it so it can just pop out ooh, just like that okay cool beans um actually i want this a little bit lower mm, that should be good that should be good okay so now i got a another pot and i'll clean this stuff up here and use it so now I'm just gonna pretty much just be building around this right here because I want to keep this in the center. I'll actually be smart about this. This is my little bucket. Put this here so when it falls out, then yeah. Again, <laughs> I apologize for those people who were not ready for me to just go ahead and make that decision like that. But I think I've got, like I said, in a place where it's like, well, I'm gonna do it or not, you know what I mean? So just go ahead and uh, deal with it now. Okay. And then you wanna tap it, of course, so that you can, um, so that you can fill in all the gaps and stuff. And I'm just going to put some on top because it looks really good and really fancy. And then once I water this, it's going to, it's going to um, kind of push stuff down just a little bit, especially like the dirt in there. Not really dirt, but the cocoa husk stuff. So, well, that is going to be it for me. Um, I appreciate you guys coming through. And like I said, I'm trying to stay consistent or whatnot. There are going to be just short videos now um, because I do have to start uh, doing therapy things or whatnot, trying to get my stuff together. And I'm actually going to be creating a class pretty soon. I want to tell you what it's about, but I'm just letting you know your boy's working on a class um, and I'm pretty excited about that. So for me, um, yeah, I just want to keep doing my therapy stuff, get better at it. I'm trying to manifest a really good job for myself. And some people have actually given me some leads on different jobs. So I'll keep you guys updated on that when that happens. But I appreciate you guys coming through. 
Um, as always, love, peace, and plants. <laughs>